was that? Hello, it is currently Wednesday, November the, I think it's the 22nd or 23rd, but um, obviously I've not had the best morning, but that being said, I've had like the worst last few weeks, but also the best last few weeks. Like I've had really good days where, you know, we were in the Santa Claus parade and I was having really great days with my students and my life in general, I love it. I feel so blessed. And I'm not the type to like record myself crying. So I just let that happen for turning the camera on because I don't know, I just, it feels weird to record, you know what I mean? Like I'm not gonna record myself like sobbing. I don't know, but obviously if I wanted to do a voiceover anyways, I'd be like, Ugh. or if I wanted to turn on the camera, you're gonna see like, obviously I've been crying all morning. Um, But now that's done, I feel a lot better. But what's gonna make me feel even better is getting my butt up. I just put some laundry in the dryer because I had to switch it over because I forgot to late last night. And I'm currently going to go clean the cat litter and then shower because I have not showered. It's like I've showered, but I haven't washed my hair. Actually, I think the last time I showered was Sunday. So it's, yeah, it's been three days. No, I showered Monday night, but without washing my hair. So I haven't showered since Monday and it's currently Wednesday. It's just one of those days and I know that's gross. I know one time I posted on TikTok how I don't shower every day. People are like, oh my God, that's so gross. And like, I do shower every day, but what I mean is I don't wash my hair every day and I didn't shower yesterday because I didn't have time and I didn't really sweat, so it was whatever. I missed a day, um, but that's gonna make me feel a lot better. And I don't know why I'm rambling on about showering and not showering, like that's none of anybody's business. But yeah, quite clearly I wasn't okay and that's okay. It's fine to have those moments. But what's important when you have these moments and I'm mainly recording this, not just to embarrass myself because I know I'm gonna like look at this recording and probably not even put it in. I'm probably gonna be so cringed out. I won't put this online. But the important thing when you have these days is to pick yourself back up. Because like I said, my life is great. I love my life. I love where we live. I love our pets. I love our friends. I love our families. I love my job. I have a great life. And it's easy to kind of get bogged down when things happen in life, but you gotta pick yourself back up because you know, you only got one life, so you don't wanna spend it sad and wallowing away. So even though it's been a crappy last few months, it's gonna be fine. So let's go get some stuff done. And get out of this, whatever this is. So having a shower is key after having a little mental breakdown. And putting on clean clothes despite the fact that I'm wearing dirty clothes right now is also key. I mean, the sweater's clean. Like I only wore it on the weekend. It smells really good. I don't know what perfume I used on the weekend, but it smells really good. I think I just used like moisturizer before crawling back into bed. So I think that's why it smells really good. I'm trying to find my brush, but I cannot. I think it's underneath. I don't know where the brush went. Okay. Another key after having a little moment, if you're not feeling your best, is getting out of the house, honestly. So I'm gonna go do that now. I'm gonna go grab lunch out. And because I have kind of a stressful day, I don't really wanna like go out of the house for long. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dra drab. I'm gonna go grab lunch out, take it home so I don't have to cook anything. And I might just grab some treats too. Treat yourself. I've been doing that a lot lately. Quite frankly, we have no groceries at home. I think I mentioned that earlier. Um, so we've been eating pasta and noodles and that's pretty much it. Not even like cup of noodles, like, I mean like zoodles. If you're in Canada, you know. I don't know if the States has it too, but it's basically like alphagetti, but it's in like zoo animals and I love zoodles, but we've been eating way too much of that. So I'm gonna go grab some actual food. Not that that is an actual food, it's just not as healthy to eat every single day. You know, I need some veggies too. So I might go grab some groceries while I'm out so that we have a fully stocked fridge because right now our fridge is bare and empty. And I'm just gonna let my hair air dry just because I'm pretty hungry and I don't really wanna spend time on that. Plus I feel like blow drying it every day isn't good for it or every day that I shower and wash my hair rather. Also last night I finished reading None of This Is True by Lisa Jewell. I think I'm saying her night name right. It was so good. Guys, if you want a good thriller and you want a page turner, I I don't fully agree with the motifs in it at all, but oh my gosh, the twist? Don't make fun of me. Will you read that book next, Steve? He's gonna read it next. I think I'm gonna read the Britney Spears book next. Maybe. Yeah. What are you reading right now? Tell the people. What are you reading? Tell the people. Uh, Come in here. Tell I was them. reading. You're too tall. The people are down here. There you go. I was reading Mashal, which is manga. Manga. And One Punch Man, which is also manga. Come to the people. Though. They can hear me. Yeah, but they can't see you. They need yeah. to put a face to the voice. And I was reading, uh, what was the other one? 
Attack on Titan, which is also manga. Yes, it is. And I just started another one. Let me go get it. Can you go get my Britney book too? It's on the... That's what I'm going to start reading tonight before bed. Remember, I was going to read this other thriller, but I really want to read the Britney one. Here's Britney, and then that's what I'm reading. So I am going to start reading The Woman in Me because I've seen it all over TikTok, and I love Britney. I'm a Britney stan. Free Britney. I don't know. The front page is torn. Aw. And can you show the people your book? Yeah. I'm just showing the front. What's this about? I don't know. Yet. It's uh, 200 pages in and we just kind of got out of the starting town. They were attacked by some trolls. <laughs> so it's fantasy. It's fantasy. Yeah. Nice. It's supposed to be like, well, how do they describe it? Um, yeah, it's like a Game of Thrones, Lord of the Rings kind of style. Nice. Oh my goodness, there's 14 books. I thought you said there was three. I have three. But Only because Steve asked my opinion last night and I have a great opinion when it comes to thrillers. She's like, do you have any good thrillers? So I gave him a plethora of options, right? Yes. And then he goes, okay. So he picks a couple up and he's like, do you have any Stephen King, right? And I was like, no, unfortunately not on me at the moment. Like a lot of the books I read, I got from the library or whatever. And he's like, okay, well, I'm just gonna read this book. So all the options that I gave him, he didn't take. So I was very offended, right? but it's okay. Um, and then he was like, oh, I'll read those options that you gave me, don't worry. I value your opinion. I'll read those options after I'm done this book. And I was like, okay, how many are there in the series? And he goes, three. And now he just told us there's 15. Men, boys, Steve's. You're okay though, I guess. Okay, so that's probably enough mascara. There we go. Okay, I am ready to head out. I'm gonna go grab some lunch. So I went into town and went shopping. I also picked up lunch while we were there and seeing all the Christmas decorations made me so happy and so excited for the holidays. There were nutcrackers out. Our local cafe had some hot chocolate on the menu. It also had a lot of bakery items that were very seasonal and I loved that. I got my usual, I forget what I got Steve, but I think it was something festive. Mmm, it's still warm. Oh no, it's okay. That ginger snap cookie was fresh out of the oven. So when I smelled them when I first walked in, I was like, um, yeah, I need one of those to go for sure. And make sure it's the one that's just out of the oven because they smell delicious. And they gave me one straight from the oven you get? and I was so grateful and they were so oh, delicious. Nice. And the whole, the whole family's here. The, the whole family's here. Everybody's here. Everybody's here. Everybody's following you. All four of us are following you. What about little cat? You too, little cat. Go away. <laughs> what about me? Everybody go away, please. Okay, bye. So the bumblebee hive is looking pretty good. I repainted a couple of the areas that just needed a little bit of touching up and I caught like 64 flowers and I'm gonna put them all along here somehow. I also got this green stuff. If you watched my vlog a few weeks ago, I was painting this outside. It's too cold to do that now. And luckily I'm done the painting process. So I'm going to try to work this out to look, kind of look like grass and this look like flowers. And then I also have some rope that's going to go on the door so that they can pull the door open and I have the morning free. So I'm gonna be working on this all morning before I do some ballet. It's currently 9.30. And I think I can get this all done in the next hour or so. I'd like to anyways, because we have to take it to the studio this weekend. I was gonna take it and do all this stuff there, but I just think it's easier. Plus I got a brand new hot glue gun. So I'm gonna try it out and let's see how this works out. Okay, so like I said, I got a brand new hot glue gun. So I'm gonna open it first and use it to glue on the grass flowers. They don't give you the like longest, sorry for the noise, by the way, I'm doing laundry down here, but they don't give you like the longest cord. Oh my God, I don't think it's gonna fit. So I did end up losing my light because it is basically my extension cord. And I don't think, actually, I think I can probably do it on that end this way. Luckily, so I mentioned how my light not working. 
thankfully my tripod has a ring light on it. It's quite bright, so I'm using that currently. So this is how it's looking so far. I'm not sure if I want to take the flowers on the door or if I just kind of want to leave that open for now. It's looking pretty good. Like I like the way that the flowers are turning out on here. I'm just going to hot glue this one. It's been kind of difficult to hot glue them and at first I was just going to glue them by their stems but I think it looks better all clustered like this. This one's so cute. It has all these little butterflies. They're really long so I'm like it might look nice to kind of poke them out in different areas if that makes any sense. So I'll show you guys the finished product in a second. So it's definitely looking more full like down here and more full like up here. So I kind of need to even it out somehow. Maybe I'll pull some flowers down here and I don't know, push them together up there. So it turned out pretty good. I ended up being able to just kind of stick some in the side where the other ones were glued and they're extra reinforced. But again, it's more full on this side down there. And I don't know, I'm gonna see how it looks when it's standing up and then I can add some more green down here because I covered it really well here. Not so much here, but I also like the fact that it's a little bit different because it's natural. So while I let this dry, I'm going to get ready for the day. And actually, you know what? I should probably put the Christmas tree out, but maybe I'll do that after lunch because my back's hurting quite a bit from this because I was crouching quite awkwardly. So I'm going to get ready, maybe do some ballet, stretch out a little bit, move my body. And then after lunch, I'll probably, be, blah, 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 probably put up the Christmas tree. Like I mentioned in the last vlog, I feel so fortunate and so lucky that we live in an area that's really close to the water. And earlier in the vlog, I mentioned how one of the best things you can do for yourself is going outside after being in a slump. And having a dog and a companion to go outside with you and to kind of force you to go outside is really, really helpful. So thank you, Elsa, for helping me get out of my slump today. Got some eggnog in this coffee. I've never tried it before with eggnog, so let's see how it tastes. I don't know if I'd recommend it, to be honest. I also mixed it with a coffee that has hazelnut. It's okay though, very festive. So I'm leaving for work in like five minutes, but I wanna put up the Christmas tree. I just moved one of our plants that was here. It was a bigger plant. I moved the white Christmas tree here, and this is the one I'm gonna decorate tonight, likely, or tomorrow. And I usually put squishmallows on it. I don't think I have time to decorate it today because I have to leave in a couple minutes. I do wanna put the tree out, so. This one's a white tree. Bottom together. I didn't have time in the end to do a ballet class because I had lunch and then mm, tended to some other things I needed to fix around the house. I think it's just not deciding to go together. It just needs a little shove. There we go. I'm guessing this is... Well, this tree lighting might take a little bit of time. Yeah. Woo! Done with tree lighting. Three. I was gonna go three, two, one, but I guess I just pushed it in perfectly on time. There we go. There's a little switch. Yeah, there we go. There's some color and this one changes. I like that one. Let's keep that one. Friday morning I worked from home, but Friday afternoon we had to go into town to get a flu shot. So we went to shoppers, did all that, and we noticed that there was a new Starbucks open, so we had to go in and it was brand new and we got one of the festive lattes. We also got some cake pops and some desserts to go, and then I had a snack before teaching for the rest of the evening. Steve's dad came over to visit, so I just did a little bit of house chores before he came over and I thought about doing a ballet class, but honestly, my body just needed rest. I've been so overworked and so tired. I just needed to chill, go outside, get some fresh air and deal with some other things <laughs> rather than jumping straight into class. Also having a cat is so serotonin boosting like every time I cuddle with Luna it's just it makes me feel so happy and so cuddly and so warm. I just love having pets. Pets are honestly the best. They don't deserve us. Pets are the best thing on the planet. 
Hi. Oh, big stretch. <laughs> <laughs>